Hey, you guys, back again with another video. Y'all, I've been meaning to do a video and, and to show y'all that I made some homemade pico for my for me and my mom. But um, I have to shake it up, you know. But um, yeah, so y'all seen me make this before. So I use watermelon instead of tomato. So that's all watermelon right there. But, you know, if you're not allergic to tomatoes, you can use watermelon. Well, you can use tomatoes if you're not allergic. But I don't use tomatoes in my pico because I'm allergic. So I'm using watermelon. And I never had store-bought pico before. I always made my own. You know, so this is supposed to, this is for my mom. I'm saying this is supposed to be for my mom. This is supposed to be for my mom and this is mine. And I made them both at the same time. I sat right here on this couch watching Riverdale, you know, and um, I was uh, making this. And look how fast this went, y'all. This went so fast. Look, I had me a plate of some, um, you know, nacho tacos. I had, you know, with this. It's so good, y'all. So good. You know, you get you a, a plate like this. Oh, I still have some pico on here right now. So yeah, I made. I just wanted to show y'all that I made some pico for my mom and I, you know. So I don't know if she gonna get it. I don't know. I still got more ingredients to make another bottle if I want. So this is a 32 ounce bottle. This is a 32 ounce bottle of um of pico. So these are 32 ounces, you know. You can use a smaller bottle if you want, but this is enough to make 32 ounces. You know, um, this was full to the top, y'all. It's settling because, you know, it's been a few days since I made this. But, yeah. So, I put jalapenos. I take the seeds out. And I use um, green peppers, too. So, you can eat it like this. This is how I've been eating it for the last <laughs> five minutes or I don't know. Uh, however long this show that is on that I'm watching. So, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all I made my homemade pico, and I love it fresh. But, anywho, I went out there. Okay, I had to pause it, you know, but I don't even know where I Oh, yeah, welcome to my new subscribers. Um, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, y'all. I make a lot of homemade stuff on this channel. Um, so this is Pico My Way. When I say my way is, you know, because I, I put my, I put a twist on Pico de Gallo. So instead of tomatoes, I put watermelon because I'm not allergic to watermelon. I'm allergic to tomatoes. And I also did it for the color too. Not for the taste, but, you know, this is really good. These were full to the top. And look how much is left. That is crazy. How I just sat here and ate all of this. Mm-hmm. I don't know if my mother's going to get me. But. Put your tortilla chips on it. And this goes good with rice, too. You know, my seasoned veggie rice. This goes good with that, also. The vegetables go good with anything. You know, but <clears throat> I never tried pico until I made it myself, you know. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't even take a picture of these while they both was full. But um, I'm going to have to make more, but I'm going to have to get some more watermelon. Yep, I'm gonna have to get some um, some more watermelon, and then I put a cup of, and a half of watermelon. But you know, if you don't want to use watermelon, you can use mango. Um, you probably can use apples too. But I love the crunch. The watermelon is soft though. There's no crunch to the watermelon. But you can use mango. You can use apples. If you want, you know, just, just a pico with a twist. You know? 
And I have maybe some home, more homemade ranch dressing too. I'm excited. Mom, at this rate that I'm going with this, this is going to be getting tapped into. I shouldn't have told her I made her some. Maybe I put some in a, a little bottle for her. You know, a little small mason jar. I think that's an eight ounce. I don't know. She may think she may say this is too much anyway. But I'd rather show her the bottle first, and then if she wanted me to make give her less than hey, but mmm, my recipe fills up a whole 32 ounce jar. You know, you're gonna have to press it down too when you're making it, cause this is all the way at the top. Y'all seen me make it before. I made this maybe twice on my channel. You know? Sometimes, and I think some of the jalapeno seeds got in here. You're not supposed to. I don't add the jalapeno seeds, but, yeah. So, yeah. That's it. That's all, guys. Mm-hmm. You don't have to add watermelon. You know, I add watermelon for the color because, you know, you, you got to put some um, herbs, some seasonings in this. So, it's more of a like a savory dish, this, as opposed to, it's not sweet, you know. You don't really taste the sweet of the watermelon, you know. And these are a bunch of vegetables in here, and this is so delicious. You see how I'm eating it? I can eat it by itself. You can pour some in a bowl and eat it just like that. This is this is basically a salad, minus the lettuce, cause I got cucumbers in here too. So I got cucumbers in here, uh, jalapenos, um, uh, what else? Green peppers, watermelon. I told y'all that. So, yep. You put salt and pepper in here too. You probably can use the Creole seasoning too, but I don't use that. You yes. All right. All right, y'all, I'm going to end this video because there's too much interruptions, okay? I told this guy I'm recording while he... Okay, anywho, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Hit that notification bell to be notified. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all, make y'all some pico. Ramona's way. Or make it y'all way. But y'all, try it with the watermelon. Make sure y'all watermelon is fresh, though. Okay? Make sure y'all put fresh watermelons in there. Okay? The day y'all buy it, or the next day, make it, you know? You buy it on, let's say, for example, you buy it on Monday. The next day, make your pico. Or the day of, you can make it, you know? Get it in the jar. As long as you get it in the jar, it's all right. Ooh, I ate too much, y'all. ate too much. But you, I got to be careful with this, too, because it got salt in it. Ooh. This got some salt. I think it got a, I think it's a half a teaspoon of salt in this, I think. But it goes a long way, though. So, um, if you don't have a 32 ounce, you could put it in a bowl. Make sure it has a, a, a cover to it. And if you don't have, you know, you can use maybe the 8 ounce jars of um, the mason jars. Like, you know, like those... That looks like the um, jelly jars. Well, not those jelly jars. There's another size. I can't even... I, what is the name? Get like... Because this is what? Eight? Okay. So, it's like... If you have four uh, mason jars... Like, I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. Okay. I was looking for an empty jar. But if y'all have these size... If you have a few of these... You know, because... I, if this is an 8 ounce, then, well, it says 10 ounce. Nope, it says 10 ounce. Because this is a cup right here. It says a cup right here, but then there's another notch right there. So I'm pretty sure this is like a 10 ounce. So if you got a 10 ounce, you can, you know, fill up a few of these jars, you know. And, you know, I don't know. No, you can't can them. Because um, canning it would make it hot. You know, and this is not supposed to be cooked. These are supposed to be raw veggies in here. These are raw veggies. 
So if you can them, they're not going to, they're going to be, I don't know, they're not going to be crunchy. But um, you can put a few of these in a jar, put it in your refrigerator, a few of these, fill up a few of these with, with some of this if you don't have one big jar. Or you can use any jar you get from the store, you know, and just fill it up, you know. Make sure it's a glass jar, though. So, yeah, I wish I would have took a picture of these before I even put it in the refrigerator. But, yeah, and it tastes better the next day after you you make it. Like, let it like let it go. Like, if you do it that night, let it sit in the refrigerator overnight and, like, maybe the next evening, then you can, it's good the next evening, you know. Let it be in the refrigerator overnight a few hours, like maybe six hours or more. And then, because you know the flavors is marinated, and then you shake it up, you know. After you mix, after you, because when you make it, it's going to be in layers. So make sure you give it a good, like a good shake like this, you know. Put some of that wrist action in it. But yeah, make sure you, um, yeah, these are good. These go on tacos, um, burgers, and your salad, you know, salad with the onions and stuff. I mean, the lettuce, ooh, ooh. Like sounds in my throat. But yeah, make sure you yeah, these go good in, in the salad, like regular salad, you know, lettuce, tomatoes, green, you know, um, cucumbers, stuff like that. And you don't have I, I use white onions in mine. You can use purple onions or red onions, whatever y'all call it. You can use those type of onions. But every time I make this I always seem to have white onions on here. Never the the red or the purple onions. But yeah, so Make sure you um make this, y'all. Make it Ramona's way. Make it your way. You know? But, um, yeah, you can, it goes good in rice, by yourself, with tacos, you know, on the shell, or taco, you know, the nacho taco salad, you know, stuff like that. It's really good, y'all. All right, y'all, until next time. I know I did my outro already. Peace.